Hey everyone, hello, welcome, welcome on this Monday Musing evening. I just got done with my TikTok live, so we're probably going to have a few new people join us over here on Facebook. Um, so if you're new and popping on, welcome, welcome. Um, waiting for a few more people to pop on. Hey, there is Embalmer, Miss Lisa. Hello, hello. Um, welcome, 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 everyone. So if you're new, let me know you're new and where you're from. Um, I'm still on a high from being on TikTok. Ooh, yeah, I'm wearing my favorite color. I mean, the pink doesn't match the coral whatever i'm not too worried about that uh did you just watch me on tiktok uh you know sometimes the tiktok can be a little too crazy okay so for those of you that followed that were on my tiktok you'll get another chance here for possible spirit connection ah newfoundland okay welcome welcome new york um, you'll get another card because I'm going to be doing the group readings in age. Um, welcome all you new people. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Polly. Polly's in the house as well. Um, welcome everybody. And for all of my regular followers, welcome, welcome. Okay, so what I'm going to do at some point, I'm going to be pulling cards for the collective ages, okay? It'll be 18 to 30, 31 to 50, 51 to 70, and then 71 on up. So welcome, welcome, and I'm gonna do just what I did on my TikTok, here we go. Gotta get that energy. tell a lie you're not new here stop <laughs> madness all right guys there we go hey for those of you asking i am safe right now i have some friends that have had to evacuate um, I'm keeping an eye on things because right now the um, the wildfire is on the other side of the mountain but it's this is the closest I've ever been to a wildfire. So I'm going to have to make sure that I pack. Uh, that's right. Your tongue will swell up if you, if you tell a lie, Magnus. I'm going to keep, you know, uh, an overnight bag and some other things ready to go if I have to leave. But it's on the other side of the mountain. So I think it's okay. We're going to find out, hopefully. Woo! Just keep praying and praying and praying. We need some rain. I just found out that Coconino National Forest, as of Wednesday, they are going to close the entire Coconino National Forest until they can get things under control. I'm in Arizona. I'm north. I'm currently in Prescott. So, whew. Anyway, Prescott Valley, actually. But it's, yeah, I was on the freeway earlier, and uh, I looked over there, and I was like, wow, that's a little... No flamey the damey. Oh my God. Who said that? No flamey the damey. I just saw that. Which one of you guys said that? Oh my God. You guys come up with the funniest crap, I swear. Um, so guys, this is what I would like to do also. Um, so I know I have several of my moderators and uh, soul family that are on TikTok. Um, and Instagram. So everyone, let me do it this way. Sounds like Magnus. It does sound like Magnus. Duh. Something you would do. For those of you who are on TikTok, and I am psychic medium Pam Sears. Uh, Jeff had just informed me that there's like 10 clones of me on there, but I can't find me as all those clones. Yes, I, I'm safe at the moment. Um, I will keep an eye on the news and such uh, and keep in touch with my family. Just uh, you're close to evacuation in Payson. My friend who lives in Heber, Overgard, 
they just got told to evacuate so she just called me that's why i was a few minutes late um getting on here and uh they're headed up to show low so uh this is serious we have 24 fires burning in arizona right now 24 fires everything is so it is scary stuff magnus it is it is so just put prayers out guys prayers prayers the the wildfire the wild uh fi firefighters oh my gosh bless their hearts let's keep them all in our prayers and send them lots of healing love as well um we can do that Whew. we've got a lot in here we have almost seven we now have 70 people in here Let's all pray for the fires, no matter where they are. I know there's 24 in Arizona, but there's other ones around. Uh, ooh, you had an awful tornado touchdown. The weather pattern has been crazy, crazy, crazy. So anyway, guys, welcome, welcome. Let's start the live by a collective card. Let's start the live by a collective card. I got to go up to the well tomorrow for my gig. Um, I I think I'm waiting for the rangers to let us know, but we look like it should be. Yes, I love the firefighters. In fact, when I was at the well last week, we had uh, a young crew from Utah that had brought their uh, engine down and they came and did a tour of the well. So I got to chat with them. They looked tired. Well, this was before all the fires hit, so I'm sure they're they're quite busy. Um, bless them. And I don't know if you guys, some of you are from Arizona, so uh, you prefer a woman in uniform, <laughs> Lisa. Um, we had uh, you guys might have heard about the movie that we made from from the uh, uh, the hot shots that were all um, killed. They for from the entire unit up here from this area. Um, yeah, show me your wildfire uniform, Pammy. That, oh, Magnus, I mean, you're saying Pammy. But yeah, we had the, the, the hot shots here and they've been, uh, honored and we have a memorial and they were all killed all at once. It was devastating. I am in Arizona. I'm in, yeah, it was a good movie. I'm in Prescott area. Okay. All right. Collective cards collective cards i just pulled this you know what's interesting i just pulled this as the final collective card on my tiktok now here it is at the beginning pam lives in my heart well you live in mine sweetheart um magnus so guys i ended my tiktok with this card and i'm starting my facebook live inner voice this is so incredible. So we have all these outside voices. Yak, 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 telling us, oh, I think you should do this. I think you should do that. BS on that. The only voice that you should be making decisions on is your own inner voice. Your own inner voice. Pam lives in my head. Oh, my God. Bless you, Lisa. I can't. Um, so I'm. I imagine this is, Magnus, you were in my live when I ended it with this and now you're in my live when we're beginning with the inner voice that is so important people always want to tell us what to do always always and you know inner voice is so important I'm going to tell a quick little story about this was way back years ago when I was on the MSN chats I was a newbie they called me a fluff bunny back then how rude um, I still have the same beautiful heart though. They called me a little fluff bunny bunny because I was all light and love and everything. Anyway, and I did a lot of long distance healing work. And the next day this lady came on the live and said, You came, you came to me last night. And I said, What? She goes, Yeah, it was in the middle of the night. I cried out in pain because she had something really bad happen to her hip. And she said, You showed up and you took care of my hip. And I was like, I did? Wow. I was asleep. How would I know? But that's what happens. You know, so many times we all go out of our bodies when we sleep. We all astral. 
but she's like, you heard me. And at that point, my name was White Dove and everyone called me White Dove or they called me Dovey, D-O-V-E-Y. Isn't that a cute name? You want a fluffy bunny t-shirt? Well, get yourself a fluffy bunny t-shirt. All right, guys, this is how it works in here. You must be 18, all right? If you give me your name and your age, all my readings are done by spirit guidance. If you give me your name and your age, that is hereby giving me permission to pull a card for you, okay? So, but if you don't want a card and you just want to hang out, don't give me your name and don't give me your age, okay? But you have to be 18. Um, if I get a spirit that pops in, I will give all the details. You must take all the details. Oh, also guys, this is my only page. This is my only Facebook account for business. What happens a lot is after I'm done, there's people that are gonna probably send you inbox messages. Oh, beloved, I have a message for you, inbox me. Ignore that troll. If a troll comes in here, I will try to take care of them post haste. Many times when we are done with our lives, a clone pops up of us. You you leave your body when you eat. My God, Magnus, I can't. I can't even Magnus today. I can't even. Um, so you guys, business pages can't send you a friend request because we're business pages. So. You might get some that pops up that looks like I, it's me and it's a business page and they send you a friend request. Just report that page. Although from what I, yeah, it happened to me on TikTok. I got a whole bunch of them on TikTok. I got a whole bunch. What is Magnus? What is the eight, eight hundred, eight hundred thousand? What is that Magnus? What is that? Oh, and Magnus, thank you guys. Magnus has a, a spiritual community on TikTok. It is called Mastery with Magnus. You can Google it. Uh, this Magnus character is a hoot. Yeah, he's got a big ego too. Ah! Um, just kidding, my friend. So Magnus, type in all caps your Facebook. You're 800 years old. You're older than that. Um, so just... Type in and you can Google Mastery with Magnus and request to join. I think we've got about a thousand followers. Uh, yeah, we're almost at a thousand. So, you know, if you're looking for a spiritual community, that is the one. Okay. Um, and Daniel John Medium, I think he's probably live. I'm not sure. He does try to go live also. He's got a charity called Heaven for the Homeless. Uh, if Magnus or somebody can put Heaven for the Homeless in here, um, he is donating his readings to his charity. Um, he does kits uh, to hand out to the homeless. So he could certainly use all the help. You just found me. Well, welcome, welcome. He's not going live tonight. Okay, I will talk to him later. He might pop in here and say hello. Thank you, Magnus, for that. Um yeah, all everyone is welcome in here. Everyone is welcome, but you must come with respect, okay? Um, you know, I I can mute and block you here um, easily. I, I don't really want to mute and block people, but if you are rude and disrespectful and judgmental, you do not belong in my room, okay? All right. Ooh, hang on. I think I got a spirit, guys. Um, okay, this will be an interesting one. Very interesting one. Um, I'm going to get as many details as I can. This is what's going to have. Um, yes, we do have a weary world and our job is to love people. Absolutely, Magnus. Amen to that. Uh, be nice to Queen Pam. No spammy the Pammy. No spammy the Pammy. Okay, so I do have a spirit here. Interesting. Is that the blood? Okay. The first, I, I'm not real good with names, guys. But, you know, I'm kind of getting a little bit better with names lately. But anyway, Jose. The first thing I heard was Jose. Okay. And then I heard Amarillo. 
Amarillo. So uh, the only Amarillo I know is Texas. Um, so we have Jose, we have Amarillo, three kids. I'm seeing something with the blood. I'm seeing a J-U name, and there's something with the arm. Something happened. I, I, this. I don't know if someone lost an arm because I see them doing this. So something with the arm. This is a male figure that is on the other side, not necessarily very elderly, okay? Um, but not a young kid either. So might be mid I, I shouldn't even do an age. I, I, I'm the wrong person. So, Jose, Amarillo, three kids, something with the arm. I'm seeing a J-U name and something with the blood. So, the blood would be something like diabetes, uh, le leukemia, something with the lymphatic system, uh, blood clots, something like that. Um It could be a song. Oh, the Amarillo was a song as well. But anyway, let me see. Let me see who might be able to take that spirit. Um, you have to take all of it. Otherwise, it's probably Jose. Uh... Thank you guys for repeating that for me. I really appreciate that. Because uh, sometimes people will pop in and it may be for somebody that's not quite here yet. Um Okay, um, thank you guys. Oh, you guys are so sweet. He's also showing me a huge stack of tortillas. I mean like, so uh, the person who would make tortillas has got a huge stack of them, not like this. And it was on a regular basis is what he's telling me. Um, all right, let's see if anyone can take that. You're so kind. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me see. Uh, I know tortillas are yummy. So I don't know what the J-U is. Um, I kind of felt like the J-U was a female name. So somebody could be on earth. Um, oh, okay. I'm also picking up February or the number two. February or the number two. This, yes, okay, he did pass from something in the blood. He did pass for something in the blood. Now, uh, guys, you can hold off on your questions right now because I'm currently in a reading. Um, now, we're going to say this again, and it may not. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to upload this to my YouTube afterwards. There may be somebody that can connect to this on the YouTube um, that's why I don't stop even if somebody doesn't claim this spirit in here. It's going on my YouTube later. So the arm is definitely something important. Um, ooh, also I am seeing, um, okay, got February and sepsis. Karen, can you take any more? Can you take any more, Karen? Okay, let me see if there's anything else that's popping up. Now, sepsis would definitely be something in the blood. Absolutely. So, it's possible. Can you tell me what else you can take, please? Okay, Rebecca, tortillas, February, or two, and sepsis. Are you just repeating that for everyone here? It's okay. Welcome, welcome. So, anyone, can you take that spirit? Definitely from the blood. And it, there was one person, um, that could be taking this. So I'm just waiting to see if she can take any more. She took the sepsis and February. Jose Amarillo, three kids, something with the arm, doing this, something with the arm. Uh, February, the number two, a JU name, and something with the blood. 
just repeating. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Let me finish. Um, if there's no one else in here, um, I don't know why you guys aren't getting the notifications. I don't know what's happening with that. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, she was repeating. All right, let me see. I know that Matthew, this happens a lot with Matthew. He just gives out and then somebody else goes and watches and then, and then takes it. Um, all right, let me see what else he has to say. Now, he's talking about three kids. Uh, let's see, I was born in February. My grandpa passed. We thought it was from diabetes and his drinking problems, but could have been sepsis. And he has an issue with the surgery site. There we go. Who was it that just told me that? This has been, re this has been crazy, guys. It's just going up and down. Who was it that just told me that? Sweetheart, the one that just told me all of that, talk to me in all caps. I don't know why this is not, it's not scrolling right. All right, so, all right, guys, I'm just going to scroll all the way up. So whoever it was that just got that, um, Rebecca. Oh, I know who the other one was. Milan, the last name. Rebecca, got you. All right, Rebecca, you may talk to me in all caps. So this is obviously for you. Let me see what else I can. Okay, this uh, person, this gentleman um, came from a large family. There's two Rebecca's here. No way. There's two Rebecca's here. Are you telling me that you two Rebecca's are taking the same? Are you taking all of this? One is spelled different than the other. One is R-E-B-E-K and the other one's R-E, wow, B-E-C-C-A. Okay, you know what? You just can't make this stuff up. So we have two Rebecca's. That could take this details. Oh my gosh, this will be an interesting piggyback. Okay. Um, and I've had that happen before, but it's been rare. So both of you, Rebecca's, may talk to me in all caps. All right. So he's talking about, but there, no, there's another Rebecca that also took the details. There's another Rebecca that took the details. Okay. Rebecca, um, M-I-L-A-N. So this is for both of you. Okay. Um, oh, she was trying to bump her comment. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, guys, you don't have to keep... Uh, I think that's what gets me confusing sometimes if you bump the comment too many. <laughs> oh. All right, so Rebecca, this is for you. You, Oh, you were bumping the comment. Okay, that's how I got confused, Rebecca. All right, thank you. All right, so Rebecca, the other Rebecca. So he's talking about coming from a very large family. Uh, he's also talking about how he lost his mom. She was younger. She didn't live to be old age is what he's saying. Um, I believe this was a grandma type figure or this could have been a great grandmother. But he's talking about coming from the large family, the mom or the grandma, he's talking about the grandma uh, passed young. And um, yeah, she didn't make it to old age. So Rebecca, R-E-B-E-K, uh, I don't know if you know your great grandmas or who that might be, but she went younger. Um, also, I'm picking up the blood. So it could very well be that she also passed younger from the diabetes. Um, so this is, a, this is what he's given. But it was definitely a large family. He's talking about the old truck. The old truck. And looks like now the scrolling is slowed down or stopped. Um... 
If you can validate that, fine. If not, I'm just going to keep giving what comes. But he's talking about the old truck. Very old. All right. So, Rebecca, uh, it looks like the scrolling has stopped for the moment. Um, there's always a lag, guys. Uh, he wrecked a truck while drinking but did not die from it. Right, right, right. I, I He's talking about he passed from the blood, Rebecca. Um, so... Uh, Okay, Cindy, are you also, are these the details you're accepting as well, Cindy? Cindy, if you're not just repeating what I'm saying, but you can take this details, you may also talk to me in all caps. It's a little confusing. Um, so, yeah, he, he definitely did not, he did not pass from the truck. Absolutely. All right, so Cindy, if you can take this, you may talk to me in all caps. Uh, but if you guys are going to be repeating in the room what I'm saying, please put it all caps. I'm just repeating. Okay? Um, just, all right, let me do this. All right, so Rebecca, can you confirm uh, which that female that did pass younger that appears to also have had something in the blood? Now, guys, it's a little bit confusing in here tonight. Uh, let me see if Rebecca can take that. But if the other one can also take this, that's fine. Both of you can talk to me in all caps. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this this guy is talking about... Um, <clears throat> unaware of her that's okay she's older she, well i'm thinking it might have been a great grandmother okay um past younger in the family also from blood so i'm assuming it was also the diabetes uh <clears throat> all right definitely he was oh okay i'm gonna say this he's talking about being the womanizer He's a womanizer. He was a womanizer. Uh, Cindy, yes, grandmother with diabetes. So, Cindy, all right, then you can validate that, Cindy. So, obviously, that is your message. I have two of you, Rebecca and Cindy, that are uh, talking to me in all caps. Thank you for that validation, Cindy. Um, he's admitting to being this womanizer. Um, he was rowdy. Yes, he was. Thank you for that validation. Doesn't mean, when I have two of you, it doesn't mean that you're both going to get the same validations. Uh, but you definitely have your own spirit that is coming through. That's why we do this piggyback. Um, you know what? It's He's telling me that <sighs> his wife turned the other way. She wasn't happy about what was going on. But there were some rowdy fights. She did turn her her face. She did turn her eyes. But there was some rowdy fighting going on at times. Um, it was the drinking. It wasn't so much the womanizing that caused the fights, but it was the drinking. Um, he was still a sweet man. He was still... A sweet man and he was definitely loved even though he was this rebel I do call him a rebel um, but he definitely had his faith uh, he definitely had his faith welcome everybody that are new I'm in the middle of a reading welcome welcome say hello um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do when I come on a live. There's usually more than one reading. that I am definitely going to be pulling cards by the age group as soon as I'm done. He, he was, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on a minute. He was, yes, granddaughter. Okay, guys, this, 
This is crazy. This the way it's scrolling here. Oh, he was mean. Okay. Grandmother, diabetes. Okay. Yes, he was. Um uh, she hated the drinking and we got into arguments a lot when I was in high school. But he always went out of his way to do everything. Yes, right. Uh, yep, yep, big heart, big heart. He's talking about he was a hell of a nice guy. Uh, he just had this uh, vice that he couldn't seem to break. Um, and he never did break that. Um, all right, so let me see what else he's talking about. Um He's showing me um, a grassy area behind a house or a farm, and there's a lot of tables set up, and there's music playing. Uh, I don't know if it's a farmhouse, a big house. There's a big backyard. There's grass. There's a bunch of tables. There's food, and there's music. So this seemed to be a big, regular occurrence. Okay, uh, that tells me that there was definitely, once again, a large family. Um, he's also telling me the family came from Mexico. Now, I don't know what the Amarillo is. Can one of you confirm what he's talking about, Amarillo? That is either Amarillo, Texas, or the song Amarillo... I don't know, like a country song. So, hey, Megan Rose, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Uh, but yes, he said the family, the family. It was like a mask um, coming from Mexico. Um, now, that might not be for both of y'all. I'm giving what I've been. There was, commu oh, he's talking about commuting, commuting. Um so that might be for one of you, but not both of you. Amarillo by Morning by George Strait. Thank you for that, Casey. Could be the song, or it could be Amarillo, Texas. I don't know. That was important. Um, okay, let me see what else I have, guys. Someone plays the guitar. I don't know if it's the, if it's him that played the guitar. He is showing me someone was big in the music and played the guitar. That might have something to do with that Amarillo by Morning by George Strait. I don't know. He's showing me a guitar. Who in the family plays guitar between the two of you? And this scrolling is driving me crazy. Your grandpa did. Okay, thank you for that validation. Validation. Um, Amarillo was also yellow in Spanish. Interesting. Yes, he did. I didn't know it till after he died. Both of you validated that. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Um, he is saying that um, he's done a lot of healing on the other side. You know, when we go to the other side uh, and we've caused some ruckus in our life, there's a lot of healing that goes on. And um, he wants the family to know that he is deeply sorry that he could not get past his addiction, okay? He is sorry that he could not get past his addi addiction. I mean, some people can, do, can deal with it. Go into rehab, he just couldn't. It just wasn't in him to get past that addiction. So... You know, he just wants to apologize. He's deeply apologizing to the family. And he's done a lot of healing on the other side. Um, can either one of you connect with James or Jamie? Yeah, he's, he, yeah, he, it just, it just wasn't in him, Cindy. Yeah, thank you for that validation. Um, are they alone when they do healing on the other side? No. We have our guides, our angels, our loved ones. We can we have our 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 team that help with the healing. They're not we're not alone. Not alone at all. Um James or Jamie for one of you. He's talking about and once again I'm not perfect with uh his daughter, my stepdaughter. His daughter, my stepdaughter. Okay. All right, thank you, Cindy. He's talking about Jane Jamie. 
Uh, thank you for that validation. Um, is Jamie doing something in getting a certificate on something? Is Jamie getting a certificate? He's showing me a certificate. If you guys are piggybacking on a lot of this, that happens a lot, okay? Uh, some of y'all are just getting quick little postcards with your little flybys. Um, yes, even when we go to the other side, we have our angels and our guides and our loved ones that are with us. Absolutely, we are, we're not over there alone. Um, maybe DNA test. Oh, is there a reason to... Oh, okay, he's just showing me about a certificate. <laughs> that could be a DNA test. I, I don't know, but it, it seems to be significant involving Jamie. Okay, that's another validation for you. Um, did, okay, who, who was awesome at growing rose bushes? He's showing me a whole bunch of rose bushes that that would be somebody would really be good at the rose bushes. I mean, I can't even plant roses. They'll die on me. Um, but I have a green thumb otherwise. So he's talking about the, the rose bushes are vibrant, vibrant. And I see some beautiful, huge red ones right now. So, uh, this would be somebody who really had a green thumb with rose bushes. Planted rose bushes, is buried next to rose. Him, he loved gardening, lots of flowers. Thank you for that validation, Rebecca. I mean, and his mom, thank you, Cindy. You guys both validated that. I mean, vibrant, vibrant. Very proud of that. Very proud of that. So some of y'all probably got some postcards from that. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. Somebody needs to do right by somebody. I don't know what that message is for one of you. Somebody needs to do right by somebody. Thank you, Tina. I love God. I love all the blessings God give us. We are all born with blessings. Absolutely. Somebody needs to do right by somebody. Whatever that is I don't know if it's for both of you or one of you, but that's his message. Somebody needs to do right by somebody. I don't know if somebody did somebody wrong. Uh, I don't know what that's about. You guys would know what that message is, okay? But it's an important message. Ah, okay, Rebecca, my dad needs to get right in general, deep in addiction. Okay, there you go. That is for you. A Cindy estranged from his family. Okay, okay, there you go. You guys know what that's about. Okay, that was an important message. All right, um, he is fading uh, back. Um, he is visiting a lot of people. There's a lot of family still left behind. Um, and he's trying to bring uplifting signs to them, okay? Uh, he's trying to bring uplifting signs. So he's making the rounds. If He's saying, uh, you're so welcome, Rebecca. He's saying, when somebody in the family says, I wonder if that's him, often in dreams. Okay, there you go. He's saying, when the family member says that's him, he's saying, that's correct. That is me. All right? That is me. So anyway, just know that. Thank you, too, for coming in, uh, being in the live. And uh, this was a piggyback. Some of you all got postcards. I want to take a drink really quick. Whew! He is actively making amends. Thank you for that. That was a very important message. Perfect for you guys. Perfect, perfect. Uh, guys, I want to take a drink and then I am going to pull cards by age groups. You're so welcome. You're so very welcome. Woo! Are you guys following me on Instagram and TikTok? Everybody put your TikToks in here. On Instagram, I am Pam Sears underscore psychic medium. Um, I do readings on my Instagram as well. Um, and on my TikTok. Uh, 
Okay, if there was another piggyback for someone else, then perfect. Perfect. Sometimes I'll get a message afterwards, especially on TikTok. I was afraid to say anything, but I took everything, and thank you for the message. They just didn't want to, I don't know. Some people are shy. All right, guys, you have to be 18 in here for a message. Here is a group message for 18 to 30. If ooh, My nose is itching. Every time a spirit comes around, my nose itches. If you are 18 to 30, this is your card. 18 to 30. You follow me everywhere. Oh, I love you. Thank you for that. 18 to 30, this is your card. So many in this age group are finding their purpose. Excuse me, guys, after that. So many people in this age group are finding their purpose. I do believe that you guys are doing a spiritual awakening and you are finding perhaps the beginning stages of your purpose. Um, we've come out of COVID. It really did a number on everyone. And you're looking like, okay, that's not what I want to do with my life anymore. I know I have a bigger purpose. So you're at that beginning stages of finding that purpose. Keep praying. Um, oh, Rebecca. Well, welcome. well, thank you for following me here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that's 18 to 30. 31 to 50. Here is your group card. 31 to 50. 31 to 50. This is your card. Abundance. 31 to 50. Abundance. Now, abundance in your life means so many different things. Okay? Now, this card, you've got an abundance of money, abundance of intuition, abundance of love, abundance of communication, abundance of spirit guidance. It's not simply about money. Not just about money. Okay? Abundance comes in so many different ways. So accept that. Be open to that and say, thank you for the abundance in my life. Thank you for bringing me all those things in my life. Okay? So that is for 31 to 50. Now we do my age group, 51. TikTok was stuck, and I said stuck in debt, so hoping this is, a, this is abundance is money. It could very well be money. It could very well be <laughs> 51 to 70. This is my group. Let's see what we got. Release. Release. You are going forward on your journeys. You that are 51 to 70, and I'm in this group. There are certain things that we can't take forward with us on this journey. Yeah, thank you for the abundance in my life. Good thing to tell the universe and give thanks. Abundance. Abundance. You're correct. Release. So those of us that are 51 to 70, there is something we all know what it is. We all know what it is. It may not be easy to release and let go, but it is not serving you. It is not serving you at this time. Release. Let go. Let God. Okay. All right. 71 on up. 71 on up. 71 on up. Let's see what we got. 71 on up. Adventure. Adventure. Go take an adventure. Do the trip. Live life. You're still young. You're still young. Go do the adventure. Take the trip that maybe you've been putting off. Uh, the adventure doesn't have to be clear across the continent or anything like that, but take the adventure. Um, I don't normally do by just someone asking the question, but Samantha, um, I do feel drawn to your name. So Samantha, please don't keep repeating, but I, I, I don't do a lot of futures, but I am going to pull, um, ooh, I'm going to pull a card from my 
uh, Gabriel deck for you. All right. I'm going to pull a card um, from my Gabriel deck. Uh, and this will be for you, Samantha. This will be your message. Mm. Samantha, open your heart to love. There's a heart blockage, energetically, a heart blockage. Open your heart to love. No matter what the question is, Samantha, love is the answer. The more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater their life force energy. Okay? Um... So the heart resonates with not only pink, but also green. So you can wear pink, you can wear green. This is about self-love. I do feel very strongly. Self-love. Opening up yourself to love and let people in is one thing. But this is also about self-love for you. Your heart has been hurt, sweetheart. Your heart has been hurt. And yes, we've all had our hearts broken. Um, and they're just saying at this point in time, just, you know, take your time, take, take some deep breaths, go into meditation and open your heart to love. Samantha, that's the message for you. All right. Um, gosh, guys, I've been on here almost an hour, so I usually come on for an hour. So now what I'm going to do, all right, Amy, Amy, who's 53, I'm going to pull you a card. Amy, who is, sometimes I have more than one spirit message that comes through. Sometimes there's only one. I just go with the flow. So, Amy, ask for what you want. Amy. Samantha, you're going to be fine, sweetheart. Samantha, you're going to be fine. Okay, you are going to be fine. So, Amy, ask for what you want. Clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others helps you avoid misunderstandings and speeds up the process of answered prayers, okay? Like, and be very specific. When you ask for what you want, make sure that's what you want. The universe is over there listening. They are listening. They're like, did she just ask for that? And they're like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. So, Ask for what you want, sweetheart, but be very specific before you ask it. The universe is going to send us what we ask for. Be very specific and make sure that's what you want. All right, Joe. Joe, I have a card for you. Joe. And if you guys are under 18, please do not ask for a card. Okay. Joe. This is for you, Joe. I, Joe, I'm going to pull two cards. This is so interesting. I pulled from the same Gabriel deck because I was going to go back. Yep, hang on. I'm going to do this. Must be a reason for it. I do what I'm guided to do. Here we go. The first one, pay, Joe, pay attention to your dreams. You are getting visited in your dreams. You're having loved ones visiting you in your dreams. When you have a loved one visiting you in your dream, that's really them. That's really them popping in to say hello. But the other aspect of this is you are receiving divine guidance, Joe, while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. So, Joe, you're getting a lot of divine guidance while you're asleep. I would imagine, Joe, sometimes you wake up and you're thinking, I feel a little different. I'm not really sure why, but I feel like there's a little shift. That's because you're getting lots of divine guidance and what I call downloads in your dreams. The other card I pulled for you is the first chakra, the root. Interesting. The root is down in the sacrum area. That is the root chakra. It resonates to the color red. Um, if you are feeling ungrounded, uncentered, Joe, wear red undergarments. I know, I don't know, you know, about men per se, but um, you can wear red uh I don't know if you have red, red pants. It resonates to red. Uh, you can carry red stones. You can eat red food. Um, you can drink red fluid. 
You can think about red in that sacrum area and you go out in nature, take your shoes off, put your feet on the ground and ground yourself. Imagine the energy coming from source through your body shooting straight down into the ground and that your feet become uh, like tree roots, okay? So you got two cards, Joe. I don't know if that resonates, but I felt drawn to pull you a card. Ooh, look at that, 555, five, five. it's 555. Get ready for change. Get ready for change. All right, Emily, who is 44. Oh, this is interesting, Emily. I've been, hmm, Emily, Emily and Lizette. This is really interesting. I don't know why this is happening. Both of you, this is the card for you. That's right, no spammy the pammy. So Emily and Lizette, this card is for both of y'all. Interesting. I give what I see, I give what I see. Emily and Lizette. Okay, get ready. Emily and Lizette, get ready for change. Change is a coming. I always like to say when I get the change card, uh, chaos precedes change. Chaos precedes change. So if you're feeling a little chaotic in your life, Lizette and Emily, it's because change is a coming. Um, I am hearing, um, hold on to your seats. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing with this card for both of you. Hold on to your seats because the change is a big one. The change is a big one. Um, oh, Tina, you'll be 53 tomorrow. I'm going to pull you a birthday card, okay? I am going to pull you a birthday card. You're going to be 53 tomorrow. Here's your card. For your birthday. Oh my God, celebration. How cute is that? I Not just because it's your birthday, okay, that you're going to be 53, but this is just celebrating life, Tina. Celebration. Celebrate. You're welcome, guys. You're so welcome. Celebration. It is time to celebrate you. Celebrate your accomplishments in life. This is not just about a birthday, although your celebration is tomorrow. How sweet is that? Celebrate you is what I'm hearing. Celebrate your accomplishments. You've come a long way, sweetheart. You have come a long way. Woohoo! That is so cute. I just love it. Okay, Sylvia. Sylvia, who's 55. Guys, and if any of these cards resonate for you, even if I don't pull your name, claim it because that happens a lot. Okay, Sylvia. Sylvia, who is 55. Sylvia, Sylvia. And if there's another Sylvia in here, fine. If there's somebody can take adventure, Sylvia. Yeah, Tina, be proud of that. And happy birthday, sweetheart. Adventure. Sylvia, it's time to go on an adventure. Something you've been putting off. It is time to go on the adventure. Okay? Take the trip. Um, you know, that's the phrase that I keep, you know, like... This this time around, we only go around once in this lifetime, okay? Don't put it off. Go do it. You don't want to have any regrets, whatever that adventure is, okay? Um, you guys are so welcome. And welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. And welcome all my new followers from TikTok. Um, I only stayed on there for about an hour because I knew I was going to be coming on here. Okay, so... Laura, Laura, who is 37, Laura, 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 here we go. Spirits have quieted down a little bit, guys, so I did a lot of spirit connection in TikTok and then the one here, so uh, Laura, time for you to take a risk, sweetheart. Take the risk. 
You do not know what is around the corner. You do not know what is around the corner. You won't know until you take that one step. And one in front of the other. Take the risk. I am hearing that the risk is necessary. Don't be afraid. Do it anyway, even if there's some fear. It's time for you to go around. You, you can't see what's around the corner, but you will. It's time for you to take that risk and you will see what's waiting for you around the corner. That's what the message is, okay? All right, let me scroll through. I'm not going to be on much longer, guys. And let me see, let me see. Sheila, Sheila, who is 48. Sheila, 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 Sheila. Sheila, Sheila. Sheila, Sheila, clarity. Sheila, you are going to get some clarity on something. You certainly are going to get some clarity. Okay, you've been asking. Um, I think that there's still some confusion going on with you, sweetheart, but you're going, clarity is coming. Clarity, um, I don't know, Casey, right now it's gone quiet. Sometimes a bunch of them pop in and sometimes they don't. So you're going to get some clarity on there, sweetheart. It's coming. Just trust. Um, sometimes my whole life is nothing but spirits that pop in. Um, and sometimes uh, I, I had Jose earlier uh, for two people and gotten quiet. It's It happens. You know, it does happen. But if you guys are interested in doing a private reading with me, uh, you know, my website is here. You can click on that and send me a private message. Once again, guys, uh, I'm going to say this is my only account. I do not have any other Facebook account. If you get some new person trying to friend request you, that's me. That's from my business page. Business pages cannot friend request. That is a fake. Lots and lots of fake accounts out there. If somebody sends you a message when I'm done with this live, sometimes the trolls wait till I'm done. If they send you a message that says, um, inbox me, beloved, I have a message for you. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I've been getting a lot of emails saying, where's my free reading? You said I want a free reading. I don't do that. Okay. Uh, now I have giveaways and sometimes special things that happen, but you know, Pay attention, guys. Pay it. No, I was not at Marshall's the other day. Do I have a twin? Do I have a doppelganger out there? No, I was not at Marshall's the other day. <laughs> that maybe you saw somebody that looked like me. Um, guys, it is six o'clock. I do try to stop at an hour because it can be, oh, it can be uh, tiring. Now, I am going to give us a final collective card for the week. We started off with inner voice. Let's see. Um, oh no, Pam. Oh no, not another twin, Pam. Oh, heaven forbid. We do not. <laughs> Twins have been popping up around me lately, guys. I swear to God, something is going on with twins. Um, all right, here is our collective card. Woo, here we go. The root chakra, the first chakra, the root. Yes, you did, couldn't tell behind the mask. <laughs> Maybe it was a twin of mine. Um, so all of us can focus on grounding and centering ourselves this week. Wear red undergarments, get some red stones, eat red foods, drink red fluids, go out in nature if you can, take your shoes off, preferably, you know, where there's some soft grass, put your feet, on the earth and let things just flow through and shoot down and like you're having your feet are turning into roots like a tree let's all get focused about staying grounded and centered that's our message for this week don't and we have a full moon we have the last super moon of the year on thursday it is the strawberry moon it is our last super moon of the year 
So I'm always out there taking pictures. So guys, I love you all. Thank you for following me. Uh, not on the hot Arizona rocks. No, no, no. Find some gr nice grass to do it with. Okay. Thank you guys for trusting in me. Um, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Have a great evening, everyone.